Bye, gunship. I've learned nothing. Yay, Walmart. Star Wars is like fully packed here. And it's in clearance Ninjago sets. Cinderella's carriage was 40, now it's eight. Hey guys, welcome back to another Vlogosaurus. I know I haven't called it that in a while, but these are still Vlogosaurus. I am outside Walmart, which you can, can you see that? Kind of, you can kind of see it. Anyways, I know we're already into the second week of August, but I've heard that there's some good Lego deals still going on at Walmarts in my area, and I don't want to miss out on it. We got a bunch of really good discounted Lego last week, so make sure to check out the vlogs. I'll put them up in the cards there. But really, I think the main thing I'm after today is, oh my gosh, am I going to say it? Ninjago. I want to see if I can get some clearance Ninjago sets because I only own one Ninjago set. It's the Sea Catamaran set. I think it retails for 70. I got it for 25. And if I can find other Ninjago sets on clearance like that, I am definitely gonna be buying them because I really wanna try out the theme. I wanna start watching the TV show. Plus there's some people that follow my channel that are just so hyped about Ninjago all the time. And I'm like, am I missing out? Like, I feel like I'm missing out on something. So I'm gonna try to find some Ninjago sets. And there's another theme that I've heard is on clearance right now, but I haven't seen it actually marked down anywhere ever at all and that's video uh the whole uk has clearance like crazy and i think some people have found some video sets for like 90 percent off at this walmart so i am kind of hopeful <laughs> we'll see what we find oh and also um random weird story i have the gunship in my trunk because i have to go return it i'll probably tell y'all a little bit more about that later on i just walked by this aisle that used to not be pinatas but they have some really fun ones here look at this taco is that buzz lightyear oh my gosh it's kind of kind of weird looking but cool oh and then check this out star wars mandalorian this one's so boring but then on the other side we have baby yoda and it's it's kind of cute okay so now i'm going to the lego aisle never mind i got distracted again look at this cute little stitch blanket i'm seeing a lot of stuff here for paw patrol does anyone know what that is is that something i should know about all right so i just got to the lego aisle and here we have lego super mario there's really not too much on sale yet that i'm seeing we do see the master your adventure this was like the series 2 starter kit except it wasn't a starter kit and it really only came with larry and that was the only appeal to that set that was kind of a waste of money for us but they do have a bunch of the other lego super mario sets here none of the new ones except for the red store knockdown and luigi and neither of those are on sale yet obviously as for marvel though they do have the black panther dragon flyer i haven't seen this on shelves anywhere yet it looks really cool shuri's minifig is amazing oh my gosh yeah maybe i will pick this up at some point i love that and then just next to it is the brand new dots designer set and the biggest appeal for me is all of these different letters there i feel like that would be so much fun to make different bracelets or even incorporate those into mocks or disney world and spell things out but i think this sets 40 dollars and that's just not really worth it to me just to get those letters so i'm gonna try to find those on bricks and pieces at some point point. and then over here we have all of the video stuff and there's some stuff on sale which is kind of surprising like here we have eight dollars down from 20. what does that refer to the video pirate the issue is that I don't see a video pirate. A lot of these labels aren't actually corresponding with where the sets are, which makes it super confusing. Video alien, I think it's this one. I don't know. I'm so confused, honestly. The one that I care most about is Llama, and he's still full price over here, so that's really a bummer. Also, these over here are still $5 each, which is the original price. I'm waiting for those to come down to like $2.50 or 2 bucks, and I might grab some more because the minifigs are very cool. What? Did I? Oh my gosh, I'm sad now. Cinderella's carriage was 40, now it's eight. Do they have any more? I'm gonna find it. Is there any back here? I would buy a bunch of them and just put them in front of the Disney castle. We have some Lego Friends on sale, but not that great of deals. Like I don't, I don't need those sets, you know what I mean? Whoa, check this one out. $60 down to 13. It's the Lego City Fire Command unit. I don't think it's that. That's Shopping Street. Man, nothing is actually where it should be. This is so confusing. But to be fair, I feel like all the good deals are gone by now, or it's just Lego City stuff that I don't really care too much for. Like this one here is 32 down from 40. And unfortunately with Ninjago as well, there's not really anything on clearance. Wait, what's this one? The Sacred Dragon or something like that? I don't see that set here though. That's the Jungle Dragon. I feel like everything's gone. I don't know what this refers to, but I would totally buy it if they had it here. And then these sets as well. I think this one is new, this Water Dragon. And then this one as well, I just, I don't know, it's four plus, so I don't really care anyways. Not to say I don't like four plus, just not that four plus. Ooh, Castle Height. I'm gonna get that eventually. I really think it'd be cool to turn this into Rapunzel's Tower. So I was just checking out the Speed Champion set and I was like, what is this thing? Does anyone know what that car is? I know it probably says here, but like, what? Does that actually work? Is that is that fast? I, I don't understand. All right, so I just got back from Walmart and that was not fun. They, they I found nothing. There was nothing there on sale. Um, there were sales that existed and we could see that on the shelf from the different stickers, but like, 
nothing that was still there, I guess. And so that was really disappointing, especially Cinderella's carriage. Like I really wanted to get another one of that set, especially for $8. That's basically stealing. So I'm really bummed that they didn't have that one, but it makes me want to go check some other Walmarts, you know, like maybe they have sales as well, but like also have the Lego sets to go with it, you know? Oh, also the gunship. Okay, let me tell you guys that story because that's like a really weird thing to just be carrying around with me. Like, why do I have a gunship in my trunk? That's a great question. So on August 1st, on release day, Ross and I were so excited to get the gunship. Like that was our number one want for August 1st. It's just such a cool set and we already built it. So like, we love it, obviously. It's amazing, it's a really cool set, but we weren't sure if we'd be able to get it because the Lego store only gets so many and I think they did have 20, which is a decent amount, but there were like 100 people in line that day and not everybody was able to get a gunship. Also, it was weird because the Lego store said that they were only open for curbside pickup, which means that you have to call them and hope that your phone call kind of gets through because there's only two phone lines there. And so when we woke up on August 1st, there were still gunships in stock on Lego Shop at Home, which I thought was just wild. I thought it would have been sold out. We ordered it online at around like 8 or 9 a.m. on August 1st. And then after that, we like went Lego hunting in the area just to find some smaller sets at Target and Walmart and stuff. And then around 11 that morning, we found out that we were able to actually go down to the Lego store and purchase the gunship in person. So we do that, but we had already ordered it. And by the time noon came, somehow they had already processed the order and we couldn't cancel. So we got one gunship on August 1st. We ordered a second online and it just showed up. So I have to go return that today, but luckily Lego was just super understanding about the whole thing and they allowed us to send it back for free. So that is good. I was worried about like restocking fees of like 10 or 20%, but I'm so glad we don't have to pay that. But anyways, I just got the Target and I'm just now realizing that there's a cart right there and I'm not gonna stay parked here. That cart is definitely gonna hit my car and I don't want that to happen. Oof. It wouldn't be the first scratch on my car, but just saying like, I don't wanna add more scratches, you know? Now I'm parked at Target. Let's go inside, maybe find some Lego. Oh. So I'm one of those people that gets like super anxious when returning things, but um, I brought swim trunks and I couldn't find a Target bag. So I just got the Walmart bag here and I'm like, I think I should take it out. I don't know. I'm going to take it out of the bag. I don't think that bringing it in in a Walmart bag is, is good. I don't think that's a good idea, but it still has all the tags on it and everything. So I think I'm good. Why though? So that was successful. Yay, I returned something. Also, I just found some Lego. Here's like a Disney kid area in Target. It's actually really cute. But then we have the Frozen Castle R2 and an unbuildable Mickey and Minnie. Some Frozen stuff, the Disney 4 Plus. So they have a bunch of like giant sets over here that are, it almost feels like they're hidden away. And unfortunately, I don't see any Lego on clearance here, but there is Paw Patrol again. I told y'all it's everywhere. Okay, I'm sorry, I just had to, but I just saw these on the shelf here, little Scooby snacks. All right, and so here we have the Lego section. The giant minifigs are up there. Here's the friend stuff. Man, these are really cute sets. I love those so much. I'll probably end up getting some of them eventually, especially like these little ones down here. The magic tricks are really cute. This is another one on my list, but for 60 bucks, I'm just not really feeling it. I feel like, I don't know. I just, I can't pay 60 for that. So I just found this here at Target and I know Walmart had it for $8 and I did have it on video. So I'm gonna see if I can try to get a price match. We'll see if that happens, I don't know. But in terms of deals so far, I am seeing absolutely nothing. So here we have probably the two best Lego Super Mario sets. And I'm just saying, if you have not seen that set yet, the Bowser's Airship, check it out. It is so cool. It's way better than I thought it would be. Ooh, and quick side note, last night me and Ross were playing Mario on the Switch and he was like the first bad guy we had to come across. It was pretty fun. Wow, okay, so Star Wars is like fully packed here. I've never seen it this full. Well. Not recently, at least. Usually it's like half full on this aisle. Still nothing on sale though. Man, there's that weird car again. I didn't really find anything except for Cinderella's carriage. I'm gonna go try to do a price match on it, but if not, then I'm just gonna leave because I don't want to pay $40 for it. They said no. So apparently they don't match clearance, which I kind of assumed, like I didn't think this was gonna work, right? I didn't think I would leave with a Cinderella's carriage for $8 and I didn't, but now I know that it can't be clearance and it has to be, I guess, like online for them to match it, so the more you know. Now I'm gonna head to a different Walmart and see what deals they have there. Cause now I'm like, 
can I get Cinderella's carriage for $8? We'll see, but at least now I know that there is clearance going on still at Walmart because someone told me that and I was like, I don't know if that's true, we'll see. But maybe I will find something awesome for cheap and also Ninjago, just saying. I do, I do wanna get into Ninjago. I think the dragons are cool, not gonna lie. Dragons are objectively awesome and the Lego Ninjago dragons are very cool. Dragon hype. And also this whole clearance event is a really good opportunity to just get more sets for pieces. And that's something I've never done before. Like I've never bought a Lego set for pieces in it. I know a lot of people do that, especially mock builders. That's, that's probably like most of what you guys do, right? Sorry, side note real quick. So Ross just called me. That's why I just cut off like mid sentence. He called because I was calling him because I wanted to tell him how awesome it was that I found a carriage or rather the potential to buy a Disney carriage for $8. I'm actually pretty close now to the second Walmart on my list today, and I don't think there's actually a third Walmart, so this might be the last Walmart on my list. But they usually have the best deals down here because their Lego aisle is like a quarter of what the other Walmart's Lego aisles are. It's only one short aisle, but only one side of the short aisle, so it's really bizarre. Yay, Walmart, I just arrived. It is super windy, Ooh. but this is probably my favorite Walmart to go to. Plus, the Lego aisle isn't just like way in the back of the store. It's pretty much like right in the front, which is really different um definitely a weird walmart small lego aisle right in the front there's like nothing normal about this place there's all of the registers and here's the lego aisle it's literally right in the front well let's see if we have any deals okay i just got really sad for a sec because i saw 50 dollars with hogsmeade and that is not that's they don't go together purple on tatooine's marked down to 24. there's that weird car again what even is that and over here we have the brand new lego disney princess book and i just bought this and i built it it was so much fun i already have it on my bookshelf i really like it for those little printed pieces in the front i'm doing something cool with disney to make a princess display it's gonna be really cute okay i'm really not seeing anything on sale at all this is actually so disappointing wow i am so disappointed but i'm gonna go look along this back wall maybe they have some stuff back here there's like some duplo but that's about it there's another small lego display here but really nothing that i want or on sale at all well my disappointment is immeasurable there was nothing on sale in there i mean i guess that's kind of what i expected but after going to the first walmart i was hoping for something like maybe a cinderella's carriage for eight dollars that would have been that would have been kind of cool. Okay, so now I think it's finally time to go mail off the gunship. Oh gosh, I just, I don't like mailing things. I'll be honest, I don't know if it's like a millennial thing or if I just am bad at it, but mailing things stresses me out. I don't like it at all. But something really cool about FedEx, actually, I've never thought I would actually say that before, something cool about FedEx. But something kind of cool about FedEx is that the way that they're letting us return this is that I don't even need to print anything. It's, it's awesome. I just show up with the email, they scan something, and then they print it that's so great because as we all know printing things is not fun it's a message i live by actually i think it changed my mind i don't want to go to the post office yet on the way home from me right now is costco so i'm gonna go to costco first i still want to find the slave one for less than 50 dollars. i think they had it there for 35 because for some reason costco is already marking down these lego sets so i'm gonna go see if i can find that there i saw the luigi starter course there earlier this week and i was like what why why is that there that's that's weird so I'm kind of hoping that they'll have the slave one there. We will see. Also, a little bit of information, totally random, has nothing to do with what I just said. Um, Ross asked me to pick up some cold brew from Costco. <laughs> that might have something to do with it. Gotta stay caffeinated. You know, it's important. I love Costco so much. Like, it's like a weird obsession that I have is just going to Costco and seeing what they have on the shelves. And it's always different. They have so much weird stuff at Costco, even for dogs. Okay, so we were there one time and y'all know we have a dog Ladybird. She is the best, very cute, Ladybird hype. They have this Nerf gun dog toy there where it's a Nerf gun and you shoot tennis balls out of it. So it's a Nerf gun, right? Nerf brand that shoots tennis balls. They just have stuff like that all the time and I can never say no to it, especially when it's stuff for the dog. Cause let's be real, Ladybird deserves it. She's a good girl. So I just realized that I don't have my Costco membership card on me, which is kind of annoying. I just have to go into the, like, the guest services line and get a temporary card, but I just don't want to. And the line's always long. Uh, also side note, the last two times I've been here, I also didn't have my Costco card. So I've learned nothing. One of the Costco people said they liked my shirt. So that was cool. Okay, so I think the Lego has moved. It was like in this area before. Oh, there we go. I see it back there. Okay, let's go see what they got. Okay, so now for Lego Mario and Luigi. They have a bunch of Mario still, which totally makes sense, but only a few more Luigi left. Oh, there's some more in the back there, but 
Yeah, it's a really good deal, especially since it just came out. And they still have a bunch of this Marvel 3-in-1 mech here for 24. We bought that last time. And then of course, Baby Yoda for 62. I think it retails for what, $70? So not that great of a deal, but still really good. We have one in our backlog, so I don't need a second one. So I'm not gonna get these today because I'm not going straight home, but these are the best. It's like sorbet, but in a coconut shell. So cool. Oh my gosh, you guys, they have them here. This is what I was talking about earlier. It's a Nerf gun that shoots tennis balls for your dog. They are so fun. Ladybird loves these and they have a bunch of them here. It's like 20 bucks. And I feel like at most pet stores, just the tennis balls alone would be that much. It's such a good deal. Ladybird loves this stuff. Side note, she actually loves these too. It's a lobster and a shark. We're saving shark for later, but lobster is her current favorite toy. Just saying. Also, this right here is a prime example of me coming to Costco and buying things that I really don't need, but just kind of want because they look fun. All right, so I just got the FedEx and I'm so sad. I have my box here, I have my gunship and I like don't want to say goodbye because I wish I could keep both, but I also wish I didn't have to pay for both. So I'm glad to get the 350 back, but it's kind of sad, I don't know. But you know, the good news about all of this is that I didn't have to print anything. I just bring them the box, show them my phone, let them scan something on there, and then I am free and I get my money back probably in like a month. I don't know how long it'll take to get back there, honestly. Bye, gunship. All right, so the gunship is now in the hands of FedEx, which is definitely a good thing, though. I will be getting $350 back, which is a ton of money, so that is really good. I'm honestly just so surprised they were able to process the order so quickly, like from Lego. Again, we ordered it at like 8 a.m. on August 1st, and by noon, we weren't able to cancel, so that was just insane. But anyways, thanks all so much for coming along with me on this little adventure. I had so much fun Fun going Lego hunting and even though I didn't find anything well I found some good deals but they were out of Lego so maybe I'll hit up some Walmarts later this week and see if they restocked the clearance sets but I feel like that's not how it works but anyways I had a lot of fun regardless and so if you guys enjoy this kind of content make sure to let me know down in the comments like let me know your favorite part of the vlog I love hearing from you guys also make sure to give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel I love making these vlogs so I hope you guys enjoy them Anyways, thanks all for watching. I'll see you in the next one.